Let's fix the problem of your missing global catalog server. So there's a couple things we can check and then we're going to do a registry fix. If we go to tools and we go to sites and services, we can check very quickly to see whether or not your server is set to be a global catalog server. So if we expand Active Directory Sites and Services under Tools, Active Directory Sites and Services, and then we go to the server that should be a global catalog, we expand all the way down to where it says NTDS Settings. So right-click on NTDS Settings and go to Properties. Now all you have to do is make sure that box is checked for global catalog. But what if that box is checked and it still doesn't work? Well, there's a quick registry fix for that. So we're going to go into regedit simply by right-clicking on the start button and typing in regedit. Now, one way you can tell whether a server is a global catalog or not is if you go into the name of the server, and when you do, you should see a sysfall and netlogon file share. Now, if you don't see those, then that means that it's not a global catalog. So even if you set the global catalog, it doesn't mean that it's working. So how do we fix that? Well, what we want to do is in our registry, we want to go to this setting where it says local machine. And then after that, we go to system and then current control set. And then we'll go down to where it says services. And then we need to scroll down to where it says net logon. Once we click on net logon, we're going to click on the parameters folder. And then on the right hand side, we're going to see where it says sysvol ready. Now, if you have your set as a global catalog server, but you're not seeing those two shares, this is probably set to a zero. And that makes it so it's not sysvol ready, so it's not going to be a global catalog. All you got to do is simple fix, change it to a one, click OK, and then go back into your file explorer. Hit refresh, and you'll now see the net logon and the sysvol folder shared. This will now become a domain controller. And if you're having trouble demoting an old domain controller, then you will now be able to demote that old domain controller. And the reason that this happens is uh, sometimes the NTFRS flag that tells the server that it can be a global catalog gets ahead of the copying of the folders from the old domain controllers. So you end up uh, not being able to have the new server become a global catalog until that setting is set in the uh, registry. So that'll fix you up and you'll be able to be a global catalog on your new domain controller or your existing domain controller if it's just having an issue. And uh, that'll work in 2016, 2019, as well as newer versions as they come out.